So what's up guys? Thanks for watching another episode of Blue Collar Booze and today we're going to be reviewing CBS by Founders. Yes. Yes. Hope you've heard of it. <laughs> So we're doing CBS today, and uh, so it's clocking in an ABV of 11.3%. Um, it's stout. a stout. What is the description on it? Wow, there goes the B-roll. Right. Imperial stout brewed with chocolate and coffee aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels. That sounds awful. It's, yeah, not like breakfast at all. Well, I, I could have it for breakfast, but I could pour that on a cereal. So, anything offhand that you can think of when it comes to founders? I mean, what pop, what beers pop out at you when you think founders? Founders, mm -hmm. I don't know, like it's like a, they they make a lot of good stuff. I don't know, they make uh, all day IPA, which is <laughs> awesome with, for like camping and stuff, and then they make some solid stouts. Um, so to they, me, founders is just a a, a well rounded brewery. They've been around for a long time. They make some heavy hitters. Um, I want to say. That they're ranked 14th actually, and this is a quarter. I'll, I'll link the the source for that in, in below. But they're ranked 14th brew. They're ranked the 14th brewery in the nation by sales. They're out of Grand that. Rapids, Michigan. They're everywhere. They're Over at Walmart. They're at Meyer. <laughs> they're everywhere, dude. They're not sold out either by any means, if you ask me. And then over 600 employees. I thought that was pretty impressive for something that's still considered a craft brewery. If you brewery. ever are in the area of Michigan at all. Hit up Grand Rapids, go to Founders, sweet brewery. You, you been can, in there? Like, many times. Uh, it's pretty cool. I've heard it's cool. It's cool. You can even go out in the winter oh, on their patio. They got, like, some heaters and a nice deck. Um, nice deck. Um, <laughs> it's pretty cool. They got, like, three bars. You've never been there. They got, like, three different bars in there that have different stuff on tap from time to time. It's pretty cool. They do concerts in there. It's huge, so... Lots of stuff to do in Grand Rapids. A lot of good breweries there. So I would highly recommend. Even, I mean, Founders is pretty big now, but I would definitely recommend checking them out. So, yeah. All right. So as he's as he's uh, pouring CBS into our fancy Founders glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, be, I'll read off their, their website description. Um, so they claim that CBS was born when we stumbled upon some bourbon barrels that had previously housed maple syrup. We opted to put the same base beer as KBS, an imperialized version of breakfast out, in the maple barrels, and after one taste, we knew we had something special. Rich maple syrup, roasted coffee, and velvety chocolate melt meld together in what can only be described as a transcendental drinking experience. And something that was um, released recently by founders is that supposedly this is going to be the last year of cbs that they do this could be another ish uh, another marketing what? ploy I, I personally think it's a marketing ploy where they're going to come back with it five years down the road um but yes if you want to take official notices as as uh, gospel last year for cbs so pick it up while you can for sure and they got it in four packs now so you don't have to buy a whole bomber for 30 bucks or whatever you can buy they've been doing that with a lot of stuff man um i want to say KBS Espresso came in a four pack. There were a couple Good job, different ones. Founders. Four packs are nice. Very nice. Bombers are classy, but four packs are convenient. That's like drinking a whole bottle of wine. <laughs> like if you could split up a four pack into wine, that'd be awesome. I drink that all the time. <laughs> I think they do that. I do think they? Barefoot does four yeah, pack. Barefoot. Ooh. <laughs> Barefoot's good. It no offense, like Barefoot. Shit. Yeah. I'm about to go into some CBS reviews saying Barefoot's good. <laughs> Are we going to review it now? Barefoot? Maybe we should. No, we're not you, doing wine. You guys let us know if not you want to see anyway. like a more domestic, common reviews. I see plenty of guys out there doing, let's do a Bud Light review. I think most of you know what Bud Light tastes like, but if you don't, let us know. It's 12 cents a can getting one. <laughs> we're not reviewing Bud Light. You're not reviewing Bud Light. Anyways. So, all right. What you picking up? We got to get in it. Smells like beer. That's very. I definitely get the maple syrup. 
I already, I already died. You already in. tried it? Oh my god. Ooh. That's uh that's nice. A lot of maple, not a lot of coffee. Is that coffee? Is there supposed to be coffee in here? I think so. Chocolate and maple is what I'm getting. There's coffee. I taste coffee, but roasted coffee and velvety chocolate and all the guy. Yeah. So I mean, you're picking up everything they describe: the chocolate, the coffee, the maple syrup, the barrels. It's all there for sure. Um, it's pretty smooth to be honest. Yeah. It's a smooth drinker. I think it's good. Like the barrel isn't. I mean, it's there, but it's not like bam bourbon barrel aged. No. No. Oh, that's good. Cheers. Oh, there we go. Nice. Just destroy the audio. Look at that. <laughs> no, but that's good stuff. So, um, I'm not gonna give the untapped score yet. Let's let's do our review first, or our uh, our opinions. Our rating out of five. Out of five. Out of five. You first. Hmm. Not knowing what that says. Not knowing what that says, I would totally have to good. say. <laughs> I would have to say. Maybe since we're doing fives, are we doing decimals? Sure. We're doing like four point. Hit it up. Get it within a thousand. Well, you know, even so, <laughs> I would, <laughs> within a thousand. <laughs> even so, I would still probably give it a flat four. I think it's really good. I think I need to get harsher with my reviews. Like, you know, like you're hard. I'm we need soft with my reviews. A five needs to be like I, mind blowing. I, Never I, had before. I'm bad about that. I gave blowing. Zombie Dust a five when I turned twenty one. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, this is the best thing I've ever had. Which we are gonna do Zombie Dust someday. Are we? Uh, someday on the channel, it might be with Cole, it might be with someone else, but um, we're gonna do Zombie Dust just because it's such a staple. Like, you know, you think of Indiana, you Especially think of Three Indiana, Floyds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's actually number one craft beer for Indiana. Probably. Three Floyds probably is. We can verify Especially. that another time, but... Me, you ask? <laughs> you, you ask. Me, you ask. In my founder's you glass. You, ask. We're at 11 <laughs> minutes. Yes, sir. In my humble opinion, I would give this a 4.25. Holy moly. Where'd that come from? it's good i like it if i were rating it on untapped i'd slide that thing over to 4.25 so untapped gave it a 4.5 a little generous but very good but does that come in from um from the 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 theory that they've been dialing back the flavors in cbs over the years i've had the last three years of it and i think this is pretty comparable maybe a little less good but yeah it's probably worth doing a vertical Instead at some of four point, pack, doing though. like, you know, yeah, four taste in each. We gotta drink like four bottles to make up for the one bomber then. Right. <laughs> I mean, destroyed. So that's our thoughts on CBS. Um, it's a great beer. Check it out while you can. Uh, I guess it's, it's going last, away. Is it's it? going away. It's the last They're year. You're never making this piece of junk again. <laughs> <laughs> it's They'll good. make it again. But try it. It's definitely worth a try. Um, it's definitely a, a more experienced drinker. I would not recommend this for a first time stout. My dad would hate this. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Actually, you probably might like it. But yeah. I'll definitely link some more reviews in the videos off to the side. Um, thanks for checking us out. And we'll be putting out more content here soon. See ya.